Hello, welcome or welcome back to our channel Art Culture Festival where we talk about all things art. Today's episode is in continuation of our ongoing mini series, The Fusion Between Art and Indian Classical Music by Harshin Kaur. So without further ado, let's get into this video. Hello beautiful people, welcome back to our channel Art Culture Festival. I am grateful to have you all here. For those who are joining this video for the first time, I'm Harshin Kaur and I'm here to express my idea about art. I, being a music student as well, see music and art as a whole. In the previous video, let me brief it for you all. Uh, we talked about Rag Basant as the basis to explain how art and music can go along. We have understood so far that in India, both the art forms, art and music, hold equal importance in the lives of people, making them connect to the nature and the universe. Not just as diverse art forms, they have influenced the artists as a whole as well. For example, in India, we have this series called the Ragmala paintings, which have influenced most of the schools during the 16th and 17th century. In these paintings, the artists have expressed their artworks on the basis of rags and they have used the elements of nature and the rags to express their idea. Today, we'd be talking about Rag Malhar in order to understand how music plays a vital role in changing one's perspective about art. Malhar Rag is one of the most sung and one of the most famous rags among the Indian classical music. It is the rag of monsoons. Malhar basically means the giver of rains. This rag is related to the torrential rains. It can be sung at any point of time during the monsoons, but when sung otherwise, it is supposed to be sung at, uh, at night, that is Raat Ka Tisra Pehar. Malhar Rag is a very gambhir prakriti ka rag hai. That is, this rag belongs to a group of rags which are of very intense nature. It is played and sung slowly with great patience and in a serious tone. Malhar Rag has a vakra format. That is, its swar are not sung in a straight manner. We can clearly understand that this rag must have a thorough understanding for the artist in order to perform or represent it. According to the legends, Rag Malhar has existed since a very long time. But the currently most sung form of Rag Malhar, that is Mia Ki Malhar, was birthed by Akbar's, one of Akbar's Navratan, Mia Tansen. Rag Malhar was a repercussion of Tansen singing Rag Deepak, the, uh, the Rag of Fire, which induced Tansen's body temperature to rise so much that his daughter, accompanied by Tansen, had to sing Rag Malhar in order to bring rain, to calm down the uh, rise in the temperature and the atmosphere due to the burning candles. If Rag Malhar is sung in a perfect and a proper manner, it is believed that it can make rainfall to happen. Malhar Rag revolves around the colors of the sky during the rains. 
uh, the depth and the intensity of the rag could be expressed by increasing the darkness of the colors and the hues. Birds are a very important part of the monsoons, hence rag malhar. Let's make a better understanding about art and rag malhar by looking at these paintings. But before I start with the paintings, I'd like to mention about the artists and the brains behind these artworks. These paintings are made by uh, Pankaj Malasi, Nagma Shamim, Kavita Ratan and Shriya Vijayvargiya. I'm grateful to them because it's because of their artworks that I'm able to express my idea to you all. And they have helped me out to sort out these paintings according to the rags and that's why I'm able to show it all to you. Birds and rains have a very beautiful relationship with each other. A bird called Babiha Chatrik found in India looks like a very small hawk. The bird Babiha sings beautifully in the early hours of dawn. Babiha or Chatrik, this amazing bird cries during the hot days of summer and waits for the rain to quench his thirst. I know these birds are tokens, but I am just using them as a symbol of Babiha to make you understand how birds and rains are connected. The lush green forest behind the birds show how it could be a tropical forest with heavy rainfalls. This painting is painted by Pankaj Malasi. Like in the Ragmala paintings shown earlier in this video, there were Gopiya dancing around Lord Krishna. In this painting, we can see the same emotion prevailing among the group of women sharing a warm moment of closeness and playfulness. Blues and violets are the colors that denote Rag Malhar. They are the main colors of the Rag which express the wetness of rain. This painting is done by an artist, Shriya Vijayvargiya. Now, look at this sculpture, all drenched in gradients of blue. If we try to understand this sculpture on the basis of Rag Malhar, we can feel that this person has soaked all the energy that Malhar Rag produces. He is drained in Malhar. As we know, the rag is a very powerful rag. Therefore, the person must have practiced Malhar too much that the rag is a part of him and he is a part of it. This sculpture is made by an artist, Kavita Ratan. Now, look at this artistic painting on the plate. After the rain is over, we see little puddles formed everywhere with little greasiness due to the algae. In the rivers, flowers fall because of the running wind during monsoons. Lotuses are there, making it eye tasty. In this painting, we can feel these elements and due to the dark blues and Prussian blue, we can feel the intensity and the strength of Rag Malhar. Before I begin talking about this abstract art, the original artwork is made by Sir S. H. Raza and this is an artwork inspired by him made by Pankaj Malasi. In this abstract painting, which has a perfect balance of colors and patterns, clearly shows a sense of depth of colors. The artwork is based on all the blue family, which are the main colors of monsoons. Blue always reminds us of the watery texture and rains. By looking at this abstract, we can feel that how the dark clouds can cover the sky, hiding the light source, and even how the nature actually enjoys the darkness during rains. Darkness can be beautiful too. Malhar being an intense rag and a complicated one due to its Vakra Prakriti, the patterns are quite complicated too which brings a direct connection to the rag. As we saw in the paintings, the darkness of the colors and the intensity of the rag are one and the same thing. Rag Malhar being an intense rag is always expressed with darker hues and colors. 
we can look forward to the western world as well in order to understand this concept of art and music like in the indian ragmala paintings they have been dependent on the shastri sangeet whereas in the western world they are dependent on blues jazz rock and roll and other art forms as well the western artists find the color tone as the main element of expressing music so we can say there are some artists that are dependent on music in order to form new artworks and some singers use artworks in order to feel something and sing about it so this is it for rag malhar and art i'm going to see you in the next video bringing up about rag yaman kalyan that is the rag of happiness and love i hope to see you then and till then stay safe and don't forget to subscribe the channel and like the video thank you